very good morning and a blessing blessing the day blessing to you all um, we fear fear is one of the worst enemy and it is associated with anger and part of anger is fear part of what provokes anger is fear it's fear of uh, you you fear that you're not you, you people will misjudge you people will think you have bad intentions you fear and um, then you try to over explain but then you get angry because people don't don't understand what you're saying and you feel that you're not being heard so you fear you're not being heard I was told that fear is one of the most uh, not fear anger is one of the most useless emotion ever because anger is it's quite petite it's quite persistent and it, it lacks patience it, it wants to express itself there and there but we all know that with time things will be we can overcome things with time it is possible and when life throws you through new challenges it's not because you're going to challenge it's because you're about to learn a new skill but we quite we we, we display fear in learning that new skill oh come on so we display fear in learning that new skill and as we display that it's it's a challenge This is where we all say we need to train ourselves. We need to train our higher selves to overcome these things because we will do everything. And in this current day and time, we are told to be positive. We are told to, to learn how to do everything, to learn how to, how to fight everything, how to be positive, how, how to overcome. And we, it's not very, 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 often that we are told how to overcome fear and how to overcome especially anger anger is almost left on its own that is why when it shows up we all panic and we fear and things crash whatever that we have built using that positivity and using that 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 nice drive that we have in our body we just throw it all under the bus it is my opinion that we can even overcome anger Fear included through patience. It is my opinion. We can. We really, really need to learn how to be patient. Give things some time. Even when you have a response in a conversation or in a debate or just before you give it, just give it some time. Be patient. When you have asked a question and expecting an answer from someone, just give them more time. Because as you rush them, you actually lacking patient and you are throwing them in that deep end where they panic. And yes, whether they know the answer or they don't know the answer, once they're in that position, most of the time, they will also be acting out of fear. So. In this life, we one of the reasons why we're here is to learn information, then pass on information. And what fear and anger does is it restricts us from passing that information because we act in a form of selfishness because we want to prove that we are right and we want to prove that we, we know. Hmm. I'll make a reference to some of our grandmas or grandfathers that were very old. They really, at some point, didn't really care about being right. They didn't care about proving a point. To them, it was just about what is good for this life and what is good for the people that surrounds them for now and the future and that is why 
when a 11 year old child was going to a 70 year old grandma and that 70 year old grandma only has the last 10 rand and the 11 year old child goes there looking for this 10 rand and this 10 rand was going to be used for the benefit of the family but based on what's happening the grandma will take the 10 rand and say here you go although she knows that was her last 10 rand she will not fear she will not fear she has a concern but she will not act out of fear and sometimes only to find that this 11 year old was scamming the grandma he or she used the emotions to get this 10 rand when this grandma finds this out she will not be angry because she 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 knew there was a lesson in this and um and the lesson does come and she will remind this child in a later stage that now you have learned your lesson can we act from a good place We can do it. We can fight fear. Fear is even used in a debate of of heaven and hell. It's even used in a debate of good and evil. Fear is used in a lot and anger as well. Yet we can fight these things. Believe me, we can. I've seen. I'm, I'm quite old enough now to know that we can do these. Nothing remains the same with time. With time, things will be better. Give it some time. Doesn't matter what it is. Could be your abusive boyfriend give it some time not saying stay there give it some time as you think about what's your next move don't act out of anger don't act out of fear could be your your employment it doesn't matter what it is give it some time and think about it carefully but the last thing you want to do is act out of fear because the bad and the evil feeds from the fear it feeds from the fear we can all do it. And we are all capable of doing it. Everybody is going through different challenges. I'm not saying things will heal because of time but you will figure out, you will find an answer. As long as you don't act out of fear and as long as in your act, you do not use the anger emotion. It is the most useless emotion ever. It is part of us, it's given to us as a form of expressing ourselves, but it's one of the most useless emotion ever. When you can overcome this anger, you have a winning formula. you have a winning formula and that winning formula is called peace so take time take time you can do this we can all do this these messages are done to reach out to somebody who will feel and understand what's going on not everyone will if it doesn't appeal to you it's because you don't need it at this moment that very right person who needs it they will definitely appeal to them. Blessings to you.